Fiber Mesh is a feature in which you can add heads in ZBrush. First, mask out the part where you want to add the heads. Go to Fiber Mesh and click Preview. It will give you a preview and let you change the hair settings. Go to Modifiers. Some of the settings which I find useful is Max Fibers. It defines the maximum numbers of fibers generated. Increase or decrease the number using the slider. By mass, it influences where fibers are to be created. The higher the number, the more ZBrush will use this mass as the guide and populate accordingly. Length slider defines the overall length of the fibers. Coverage slider coverage slider will increase or decrease the width of the fibers. Gravity slider gravity slider will use world gravity as a guide and make fibers point upwards if the slider is low. It will make hair droop pointing downwards if the slider is high. The last feature I use most of the time is segments. Each fiber will have a single edge loop if three segments is selected. Increasing it will give you more control when you use the move brush. Now what settings I use? It mostly depends on the project model itself. You have to use the references all the time and judge accordingly. There is no exact or accurate setting to add hairs. I just play with all the parameters I mentioned and see what results I like. When I'm satisfied completely, click accept. After accepting, the fibers will convert into an actual mesh. Now there are certain brush I use to tweak the hairs. Press B, G to assess the groom brushes. I use groom lathan, groom brush and move brush most of the time. The point is to match the hairs according to the reference. Make it asymmetrical as much as you can and use mask to isolate some parts. It will be easier to control, add variation, nothing about the hairs is symmetrical. Have the variation of both short and long hairs. Use groom brush to groom on the direction reference is showing. And just like that you have to give it some time. Quality comes with how much effort and time you are putting into it. Hair demands a lot of concentration and observation. Keep doing it until it feels natural. Make sure you hit shift R to render the screen. The hairs look good only in render mode and not the viewport itself. This is how I approach to fiber mesh in ZBrush and you can follow me using my methods to experiment yourself.